in our hillside town, where flowers grew waist high in vast fields of color. Lives were infected by an almost comical sense of bliss. For as long as the cordial, beaming sun was in the sky, every breath like enlightenment. There was, however, a consequence to our way of life. Come nighttime, a man on a unicycle patrolled the streets in tethered overalls and polka dot socks. He played the harmonica and he played it eerily well. His constant melody was Mary had a little lamb, but on some days he changed it depending on the activities in town. On our town's anniversary, he played our hymn. Our festivals, he played whatever songs was popular, regardless of genre. We were advised to never make eye contact with him, for reasons unknown. But he had a way of tempting us to come to our windows and look right at him. He was the reason some bedrooms had boarded windows. Once, he passed by our house and played a song that was playing when I kissed my girlfriend in my bedroom that afternoon. Dream a little, dream of me. In that moment, I could almost imagine his face, pale, perhaps, and got with a smarmy grin and a suggestive wink, as if to say he knew what we kids were up to. Oh, I bet the creep did know. I was skimming through the last 20 pages of Little Woman, a charming little novel by Louisa May Alcott, urging myself to finish the book tonight so I could wake up feeling accomplished. As the words became muddled, the sound of that distant harmonica began. Mary had a little lamb, nothing special on his repertoire. I panicked when I realized that my curtains were still open. I stood up, squinting to limit my field of vision, and reached out for the curtains. The music stopped. I looked outside the window to expect him gone. Yet, there he stayed, and there we were, eyes locked in an escapable gaze. There was neither horror nor comfort in the plain set of features that I saw. He had the most average eyes nose and lips on this side of town, and they were contoured in an expression of hollow grief. I gasped and pulled my curtains closed. Trembling, I turned to lock the door and covered myself in my sheets. The unmistakable sound of the harmonica was growing louder outside my bedroom door, and it was now filled with something I hadn't noticed before. Sorrow. Suffering. Loneliness. I then began to weep. I wept until my lungs bled, until my eyes burnt, until I could no longer comprehend what happiness felt like. It was painful. Through my tears, I opened my eyes and saw the unicycle man standing over my bedside. He was looking at me, balancing on his unicycle, and began to play it's a small world, on his harmonica, as if to mock my agony. Misery loved company, after all. <laughs>